It's time to make roofing sales fun again. Because after all, roofing sales gets a little monotonous. It's like only using missionary with your partner. After some time, that excitement that was first there, just like when you get into the business, you know, where every single day you wake up, you're so excited to go to work, there's new challenges and these fresh new opportunities and new money to make, and then that excitement just slowly dwindles. And then it gets replaced with drudgery and monotony, and that fresh spark that you once had is gone. And just like with a partner, you need to have a vulnerable, open conversation about what you might like or might wanna try, and, and you're gonna experiment because missionary all the time is gonna get a little stale and boring. And in time, you're gonna learn, yeah, I didn't like that, love that, that was fun, and that's how we keep it fresh. In roofing sales in your career is just the same. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about three different ways that you can make roofing sales fun again. Welcome or welcome back. Adam Benzman here, the Roof Strategist, and everything that I do here on my channel is designed to help you and your team smash your income goal and give every customer an amazing experience. And if you like this and you want more videos on sales training, sales strategies, sales techniques, and maybe some discussions, some real discussions about like mindset and what we face in our day-to-day -day life in roofing sales, then I invite you to join me in my free training center. There's no catch, by the way. There's a link in the description so you can get in there right now. Now, let's get into this, the, this video about the, the tips, three tips to make roofing sales fun again. You might be noticing something a little different. I got this goofy, goofy thing going on here, and I haven't seen my cheeks or my chin in many, many years. And the other night at dinner, I'm with Sheena and my dad. Sheena's my wife, by the way. My dad was visiting. Sheena turns to me and she goes, I think we should shave a handlebar mustache on you. And I was like, I love it, let's do it. I love new stuff and having fun. And she goes, no, 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 we can't do that because you got videos to film and stuff. And I realized in that moment, I said, I have been taking my work too seriously. And you might have noticed it because you've been maybe watching from the beginning or maybe seeing old videos where I've got long hair, man bun, uh, and, and, and the, the style has evolved and changed. And as the channel's grown and as the, what I've felt pressure, uh, I have, without even knowing it, began to take things more and more seriously. And I didn't let my guard down. And I, I, was, I was just a bit more, more rigid and structured and professional. And I told Sheena, I said, I'm gonna talk about missionary in this video. She's like, are you sure? And I was like, what better video to do that? If I upset anyone, we're all human. We're all doing these things. And you know, at the end of the day, like I, what I wanna do is just connect authentically and share stories of relatable experiences to help you get the message and, and change your mindset of how you view work so you can make it fun again. So anyway, going back to the dinner when Gina says we should do a handlebar mustache, I said, you know, let's just do it. I said, if people don't want to follow along because of how I shaved my face when I used to have a man bun, like that's on them, not on me. And anyway, afterwards she shaved it and she loves it by the way. And what's most important to me is that my wife loves it because she's willing to look at me. <laughs> so she loves it. And then, and she and I were talking yesterday. She goes, tomorrow you should make a video on how to make roofing sales fun again. And it was this great reminder to just like, bring back the fresh excitement and the, the free feeling of just speaking our, our minds in a positive way to help others. So here we are with this video and Sheena inspired it. And that's gonna lead me right into our three tips to make roofing sales fun again. And let's start with tip number one. Don't take yourself too seriously. Now, some people say that you teach what you need to learn, and in this situation, I couldn't agree more. I've been taking myself too seriously because, you know, at the, at the, after, at the, end, of the, the end of the world, it's just roofs. Roofs are the single most boring thing that any of us could ever voluntarily want to sell, and it's the single most boring thing that anyone's gonna wanna buy. So why should we take ourselves so seriously? It's just roofing. It's a product that doesn't even move and it just sits there, and it's not sexy. It's not exciting, it's just, it's just there. So don't take yourself too seriously. That's tip number one. Tip number two, do something fresh, new, and experimental, okay? Now, I'll give you an, a few examples. If you're only using missionary, at some point, it stops being fresh and new. So what do we do? We talk. We, we are vulnerable, we have some fun, we experiment, and sometimes it flops, sometimes it's fun, and in your career, it's no different. So I had a guy, and I gotta untie my shoe for this, who says to me, he goes, Adam, I wanna try something new. 
our market is really competitive. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a little toy shoe and I'm gonna put it in a bag and I'm gonna hang on the door saying, just trying to get my shoe in the door. And it was a way to break through the noise of all the competition in the market. And I loved it, it's too funny. It's like that's fresh, new and experimental. Now I do this in my current business where I experiment and that's what keeps it fresh and fun. And sometimes I flop and other times we hit a grand slam and sometimes it works a little bit and then we, reiter we, we, we iterate and improve. So how can you do this? You can change up your pitch of how you approach the door. If you're using the slap formula, you can say, hey, when you let them know why you're there, you can experiment with new things that's making it specific to their roof, for example. Like, hey, the reason I'm stopping by is I left Peggy's house and uh, just got her roof approved and your roof looks like it's the same age and might even have that same shingle up there. And while I was in the neighborhood, and again, that's just one little experiment you can, you can do to, to try something new. You can mention a, a customer's name, you can tell a story, you can tell a joke, whatever it is. So again, try something fresh and new. On your direct mail letters, for example, if you just wanna, again, experiment and have fun, that's what this is all about, is having fun with it, you could put a penny in the envelope. It's called lumpy mail. So when people are feeling the envelope, they're like, they wanna know what's inside. Their curiosity takes over them. So they open the envelope to find it. And then that penny can be there. And if you're in the storm world, for example, selling hail, wind, or hurricane, you can say, my services won't even cost you a penny, but I'll reimburse you anyway. You know, again, being playful or cheeky. And it's just a, a, one little thing that you're like, I'll put a penny in and add this one little line and see what happens. And maybe it works, maybe it doesn't work, but you get to play with it and have fun. So one thing to me that's fun is experimenting and seeing what happens because in sales, we get this like live, real world, real time feedback on did it work or did it not work? There's really not a huge delay. So experiment and have fun just like you would in the other example I gave you. All right, and that leads me to tip number three, which is use humor and have fun, okay? Uh, I did another video in the past called the Try Not To Laugh Challenge, and I, there were two camps of people, people that thought it was the dumbest thing in the entire world, and they would never do it, and those that thought it was hysterical and are gonna try it, and you get to decide for yourself, so I'll put a link to that video at the end of this one, but that, that, that uh, video was inspired by a book I read called Humor, Seriously, where the authors did experiments and showed that people who use humor in the sales process result in an increased level of sales, so revenue, as well as increased levels of trust and increased levels of the customer experience where they're self-reported saying, we felt good about it. So why not have fun with it? And here's a few ways to bring humor in. Number one, tell a joke at the door. Number two, use the try not to laugh challenge, which I share with you here at the end of this video. Number three, dance. I have some, some members inside the Pitch Pro Movement that are literally challenging their team that when someone opens the door, they're doing the chicken dance. Again, bringing humor into it. Number five, use or four, whatever number I'm on, use self-deprecating humor, poke fun at yourself, uh, joke with homeowners, bring some levity to the, to the buying experience and just be playful because it's just roofing. So have fun with it. So in summary, here are three ways that you can use to make roofing sales fun again, to break the monotony of missionary, but in your career. So you can get that spark back like you had when you first got into it, where every day you woke up, there was a new challenge, a new excitement, and new learnings, and it kept that spark high, because at the end of the day, your energy and your motivation is what's most important, because if you're having fun with what you do, your performance will follow, and guess what? Even if it doesn't, but if your performance is here, and your fun level is here, wouldn't you still like to have more fun at the same performance why not right what you can do is number one don't take yourself too seriously I am heeding my own advice in this video I couldn't believe that I was going to talk about missionary on a video especially knowing my channel I've just been very conservative on, on things like that and I said you know what I'm gonna have to be fun and have, not take myself so seriously number two I was gonna do something new and experiment and that was doing this video and then shaving my face to look silly and then number three is bringing humor into the process hence the whole missionary thing because hopefully that could land it in some way and I want you to be able to do the same thing to retap into your passion and excitement and have fun with roofing sales because this is our livelihood and we spend more time doing this than anything else so I hope this helps you find more fun 
All right, now, just because our video time here is about to wrap up doesn't mean your and my time has to. So if you haven't yet done it, jump into my free training center right now. You can click right here and then jump into, uh, if you want to stick with me here on YouTube, this video, which is the Try Not to Laugh Challenge. You can decide for yourself whether that was ridiculous or something fun that you want to use for tip number three, which is bringing humor into the process. Thanks so much for joining me in today's video. Signing off, and I will see you on the next one.